welcome to Wednesday! And not only um, it's um, Wednesday, but don't we have a birthday? Ooh, do we have a birthday out there somewhere? Yes. Mm, who could if, it be? Who uh, could it be? Um, if Is the, it me? No, it's not you! Hold on, don't tell me. Let me guess. I'm just scanning the audience here. One of these people. Who looks guilty of having a birthday today? Mm. I can't tell. Go ahead. All right. Um, today is Nova's birthday. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. So, Nova, Nova if you are here, happy birthday. Happy I birthday, hope you're having Nova. a great day. And yes. uh, and and if you want us to, um, we would love to sing to you. And uh, um, what are we gonna sing? We're gonna sing Happy Birthday. Oh, and, I wasn't um, sure if we were singing. May I it off make or... a suggestion? As to what song we should sing? No. Oh, um, sure. my suggestion is that. Um, it, it, Joe should sing a uh, Pearl Jam no, song. No, no, yeah, no. That's what it should be. <laughs> <laughs> no, my um, suggestion is that uh, um, Zach that should sing the Pearl Jam. Stop it! Is that when you guys' birthdays are getting closer, um, um, you can um, can um, come to um, to to um, me or call them and um, ask. Um, uh, so to mention your names on your real birthdays. Yeah, we'd and be happy to do that. And we'll be sure to do that on the morning routines. So. Yeah, we'd be happy to do that. And then we would have Zach or Joe serenade you with a beautiful Pearl Jam song. There's many out there, so I've been told That's by right. Joe. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear so and so. Happy birthday to you. And Yay. many more. You're getting old. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And um, the two more days um, is my grandmother's birthday. Oh, Grandma. How old is Grandma? I mean, she's going to be turning 70. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice young age. Still lots to go do and explore. That kind of stuff. Does she like to get out and party? I don't know, but um, <laughs> um, um, but um, in um, um, the past, before COVID, um, my family and I um, would go um, over to um, <clears throat> our grandparents' house and celebrate uh, our grandfather's birthday or our grandmother's birthday. Nice. Nice, very fun. It's cool to do that stuff. Get out and celebrate with friends and family and whatnot for birthdays. You know what Joe likes to do on his birthday? What? Just listen to Pearl Jam. All oh, really? day long, he just like, leave me alone, don't sing to me unless it's a Pearl Jam song. It's like, come on, Joe. Let's call Pearl Jam. You ever see Pearl Jam? Live? Ever see Pearl Jam? We know you like Pearl Jam. Get over it, dude. <laughs> All right. But it is. Let's check in with our friend Zach and Gabrielle. Hey, Wednesday. I said that kind of like that because I was hoping to get over the Wednesday hump. No, we're here, middle of the week, guys, having a lot of fun this week. Um, like I said, once again, it's beautiful out there. Uh, once we uh, get off work here today, man, I'll enjoy that sun. But hey, let's go back in the bearded past with Zach. So on this day, Ron Blomberg of the New York Yankees became the first designated hitter in Major League Baseball. I love this because the designated hitter is something that has been argued over in baseball for years and years and years. And so the American League on 1973, obviously, they started using a designated hitter. What the designated hitter is, is he bats for the pitcher permanently. The pitchers do not bat in the American League. Well, in the National League, they don't have a designated hitter until now. 
This year's new baseball rules has led all leagues into a designated hitter, and baseball purists just hate it. But Ron Bloom Blomberg of the New York Yankees became the first designated hitter. 1973. The United States on this day declared war on Germany, which of course thus entered us into World War I. And uh, three years, it was three years uh, after the conflict had officially began, that is when we declared war. Uh, the war in Europe had started in 1914, and uh, we decided it was time to join in uh, 1917. All right, you guys, hey, I hope you guys chew on those facts and uh, have a little fun, and you can always research all these things a lot more and get a lot more information. All right, guys, have a great Wednesday. Can't see you on the backside of the week. Bye, guys. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. Hump day, right? I in the middle. Here we go. We climbed up. We're at the pinnacle. We're going to go down. But it's Wednesday, and it's April the 6th. And today is National Student Athlete Appreciation Day. What pray tell might that be? Well, they carved this day out for all those high school athletes that have played sports all through high school. And you know what? They're going to get that opportunity, hopefully, to go on and play at college level. It's usually called a big signing day. A lot of schools hold a presentation or anybody in high school, usually your senior year, if you sign a letter of intent to go on to college. It's a big deal. It's not everybody gets to do that. We all love to play a sport. How great is it to be able to get signed to go to college to play a sport? It's exciting for people. It's even more exciting for parents that a scholarship comes along with that. We got that opportunity in our family. My daughter was able to do that. And it was very exciting. You work really hard. And most student athletes at that level with that kind of um, perseverance to play at the top of their sport, they usually always have over a 3.0 GPA. That's what helps get them into college as well. Because you can be a really good athlete, but if you don't have good grades, there are certain qualifications that you need too, and that's got to go along with it. So to be able to play a sport, be an elite sport, get a scholarship, and keep that GPA, they deserve the day because they worked really hard at it. Hopefully you know somebody that was able to do that. I think somewhere along the way, we all maybe know somebody that got to go to college and play a sport. So today is their day. It's been set aside for as long as I can remember, but it's a special day for all those athletes. So have a great day on student appreciation. What is it? Something, yeah, no, athlete day. Yes, there we go. Ooh. Ah, very good. Always good to have them back and doing the cool things that they do. Now, it is Employment Wednesday and it's Dressed to Impress Wednesday. So oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Oops. Yeah, that's okay, but we got to focus on a couple things. Um, I was so focused on Nova's <laughs> birthday that I forgot to mention Dressed to Impress. No, that's okay because that's a big deal, good fun, but we gotta stay focused on one part, which is the dress code 
which we gotta be following, right? Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. boy. <laughs> I know, it's not always fun, but it's super important because we actually, as the restrictions start to release from the pandemic and whatnot, yeah. we're gonna have, we're gonna go back to some regular things that happen in the building where business people come into the building, potential employers come into the building, yeah. we have guests that come in. Before that, I joined. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, because when I joined, all of, um, um, all of us were doing program online. That's right, yes we were. And so now we're getting to that point where these things are gonna happen again and we always want to be ready because you never know who's gonna come in here that might be your future boss or future employer. Yeah. Or you, know, you always wanna look your best and always wanna look professional, right? So our dress code is pretty clear, pretty simple. So let's try and focus on that before yeah. Lavelle falls asleep again. <laughs> How many, how many bet, how many people bet on this episode of how many times she was gonna yawn? <laughs> the over under I think was like three and a half, something like that. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so it is dressed to impress. Keep up the good work with that. Employment with Zach is coming up at what time? One o'clock. One o'clock. What do you think he's gonna talk about? <sighs> oh, how many yawns? <laughs> <laughs> Caught her mid yawn. Well, maybe I just sighed. <laughs> What's that? I just sighed. Oh, sighed because it's employment with Zach? <laughs> Sighing with Zach. <laughs> but we just sit there and Sigh until he falls asleep. <laughs> I think for you it's napping with Zach. Like, yeah, napping with Zach. It's like nap time in Zach's office. Is that what it should be? <sighs> That's what it should be. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Okay, so we got employment with Zach. <laughs> 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 so we're at three. I said the over under was three and a half. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, shoot, <laughs> completely lost my train of thought. Employment was Zach at one o'clock. Last week he did a cool interview where he did some role play with a few yes. folks, interview questions. Hope that was good. That was great. Yeah, we're gonna see some more stuff like that at one o'clock, so I'm looking forward to that. How about you? Um, um, so am I. Um, and uh, hopefully um, I can um, see um, my step cousin Eddie again. Oh yeah, I forgot. Eddie came in that one time and was on the live with Zach. That was pretty cool. Maybe um, he can stop. Yeah, by. and I um, and, and I got a chance to catch up with him. Very cool. Very. You see, you never know who's gonna come into the building. Yeah. And you always want to be prepared. So hopefully, me and Eddie can catch up again really soon. Yeah, that would be cool. All right, I think that's it for today. Want to get us out of here? Before I start you on again, Before that is again. all we have for today. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now. Take care, everybody.